Okay, so um, I found it difficult to find this information, but once I found it, um, I found a guy that had posted a picture of this stuff. But this is for uh, converting your uh, five or ten gallon beverage cooler into a mash tun. What you're seeing here is actually three parts. There's a uh, three eighths inch hose barb to female thread. Um, that's gonna be I'll tell you what we'll make it as easy as this guy did. That is uh, Watts model number A two ninety four, three eighths inch. Is that right? No, I'm sorry, we're going backwards here. Three eighths inch female barb adapter Watts A two ninety eight. So if you go down and look in the plumbing department of like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, and they've got the Watts uh, fittings. It uh, I believe it's going to be in the yellow. Yeah, the yellow packaging, 3 8 inch female, and that's threading onto a uh, brass nipple, uh, one and a half inches long by 3 8 inch diameter, threaded on both ends. That's uh, Watts model number A786. Then uh, what I got was a brass craft um, O-ring, that's brass, brass crafts. <laughs> Model number for that is 0571. I got three just metal 5 8 inch, uh, things falling apart now. Uh, 5 8 inch, you know, that's the hole in the middle, um, fender washers from the hardware department. Then we've got a um, threaded ball valve, 3 8 inch threaded, so it's 3 8 inch thread on either side, ball valve. And then the male barb adapter, which is Watts uh, model A-294. Uh, these are already put together because it's kind of a bear to, you know, I put them together to make sure everything was going to work and took it apart again. So what you do is you put your nipple inside the uh, female thread and then in between is this uh, stainless steel uh, 5 8 inch fender washer, which is a little harder to get. I actually had to go to a plumbing supply warehouse to get it because they didn't have it at my local hardware store. Um, so you put that on, then you screw this. Uh, I've got Teflon, obviously I'm using Teflon tape. Got some Teflon tape in there and screwed it down real tight so uh, it's actually holding together. Now, in between here and here is uh, an entire another step, and there's a part that actually comes with your cooler. So, here is the inside of your five gallon beverage cooler and you'll see the uh, little nut which I've loosened is up inside there. I'm going to try and do this so you guys can see it. Reach in here with a tool or whatever you need. Loosen that nut. It's obviously it's two parts. You've got the nut itself, right, which you won't need anymore. Reach in there and pull the thing out, and you'll notice that there's a rubber. There's your uh, valve. It's the little, you know, cruddy pressure valve. You plunger it to get your lemonade out or whatever. But inside that hole, which is now up in there, is this small rubberized, uh, like a washer O-ring kind of or washer kind of thing. You're gonna need to keep that because that's gonna go back into that hole, and then the stainless steel uh, fender washer is going to go on either side of it to clamp it back into place and to make it watertight as well as the o-ring so we're going to start putting that together uh, part by part now first on the inside all right first we've got this little assembly like I said that we pre-assembled the uh, rubber washer from the uh, as it falls over. Let me put that back up. Ah. All right, this rubber thing is going to go on it with, uh, you notice the direction, so this larger end of it is going against your stainless steel washer. This is the part, ugh, slide it on there. All right, it's going to be, this is, these are the parts that are going to be inside the cooler in this direction. So we're going to shove that in the hole and then, you got to fiddle with it a little bit so you can get that uh, rubberized part back in the way it's supposed to be. Your, uh, hang on. <laughs> Your cooler here is actually double walled. The outer blue or orange wall and then the inner white part. Alright, so my mistake. Put it in the hole first.
you think since I've done this before, I'd remember. First, let's put this in the hole so that it fits easier up. It goes right in. Then we'll take our little brass fitting here and just kind of push it through. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, that's in. You guys can see that nice? Yeah, you can. Okay, now, next step is going to be the O-ring. That's the little brass craft 5 8 inch O-ring that I picked up. I'm going to look at the outside of this thing now. Alright, there's the fitting. Take it over there. There's your fitting sticking out. Obviously, uh, I've got tape on the outside of this. The little brass craft O-ring is going to just slide right over that all the way in. Okay, now then your big fender washers. Um, I tried it with two. The guy who uh, I got these instructions from said he had to use three. I found out that three works perfect. Two doesn't. So those go on. Now you push it from the inside. What you're going to need is a three quarter inch uh, wrench to hold onto that threaded barb inside. And uh, I'm not going to tighten it down all the way, but you can see how this works. As this tightens down, it's going to compress that inner washer against the two outer ones. And the uh, little uh, rubberized washer that came with the cruddy valve is going to force itself against the O-ring and the O-ring is going to force itself against the inside of these outside washers and everything's going to be nice and watertight. Alright, so now you got a 3 8 inch ball valve sticking out. Now we take our little barb adapter. That's going to go in place. It's uh, You can put a wrench right on the outside here, put a wrench on this thing, tighten it down. You want to get a wrench on the inside and tighten the whole thing nice and snug. Um, hopefully with a valve left in this, uh, in this angle. Okay, and then now we have our valve. This is going to fix all that stuff that happened when I was using the setup before <clears throat> where I was having to fiddle with that friction adapter. And I'm still going to use my Phil's false bottom here. What I've done is put about a four inch piece of uh, tubing on there and that's the... I, why I'm using threaded tubing? Not a clue. Because there's just tons of pressure, isn't there? So it's not really necessary, but that's what I had. It was brand new tubing. It's nice and stiff. So the Phil's false bottom is going to go in here. And here, my friends, is the tough part. You have to force the Phil's false bottom in at an angle and get the tubing kind of on there at the same time so that it all goes in at once. And I found this difficult to say the least last time. There we go. It goes onto that barb nice. Um, if you leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room on the barb, you can kind of rotate it some to make it go in there a little better. But nice and tight. Now I got a false bottom in there. You guys can see that, yeah. False bottom, a little piece of tubing going onto that barb, going through the inner stainless steel hose washer. Let's see. Inner stainless steel hose washer there. Um, all of this, you know, obviously before I use it, I'm going to take everything apart and sterilize everything, put it all back together, and then I'll probably just, you know, put a couple of inches of sterilizing solution on the bottom, uh, just to make sure everything inside is sterilized and then, you know, cracks in between it. If you look, I don't know if you guys can get the angle, if you look really close there, you can see the stainless steel washer pushing against the, uh, rubber washer on the inside, so it's nice and tight there. And then on the outside, we end up with a nice controllable little valve with a barb on the end, so I can hook a piece of tubing that'll go right into the uh, boil pot. And then all you have to do is just barely 
Ugh, I'm doing it the right way here. There we go. Barely crack your valve. Obviously, it's controllable from full open to close, but you can just barely crack it however much you need so that gravity forces the beer out and down the tube. That's it. So, uh, I gave you all those parts. Yeah, the Watts part numbers, uh, three outside washers, which can be any steel. You don't have to get stainless. Um, the inside one is stainless. It's got the ball valve and then the threaded, uh, male threaded hose barb, and we're done.